So we have here an uh, induction cooker thanks to our friends from Dowell uh, who have sponsored our event. Um, and uh, Nancy's on the hot pot setting just to heat up the oil. Okay, what I learned from my friend Judy Lau is to always add a little caramelized sugar. Okay, it's not there. Add a little caramelized sugar. Not in the recipe. No. It's not going to sweeten your skin. No, but it's going to add. Drop to the lowest setting. Yeah. Of the other. It's going to add uh, the umami that you need and the color. So I have here my sugar cube and I'm also going to saute my pepper okay pepper and and my laurel so try to do this this is an extra step you can do this for your casserole I'm now going to try why beer well, just for, just for a change, you know, instead of wine, beer, but you don't have to cook. Now, beer, when you cook beer, it lightens the soft. It's a bit when you have a beer batter, it's like a, it's like a baking soda. I'm oh, sorry, baking powder. It lightens. It tends to boil up the taste, okay? So, there's a little beer. There, you can see it's bubbling. Your cooking time. Two by half. I promise you that. As long as you use mass flex pan. Yep. Over here, you're using our stone forge casserole series. Mass flex stone forge. Yeah. Um, I pre fried my, my uh, potato. Why? Every time you're going to use potatoes, pre fry it. Why? Because potatoes is very, it has an amount of base. But we don't release the, 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 the glutamate of potatoes unless we fry it first so that the, everything is fully cooked and then the taste comes out well. Sauce. So Nancy here is and, doing 
the creamy Eden sauce. Yes. That's also in your recipe handout below the recipe. Does everyone have their handouts, their recipe handouts? Okay, so now we can stick in. Okay. No, that's good. Thank you. When you're cooking with milk, you don't stop stirring. So you put your phone on hold. What happens okay. if you stop stirring? It's because it will scab and burn right away. Okay. okay. I'm just going to pour. So then I think you're using our as like 16 cm sauce pan. Perfect for these types of sauce. Yes. Yeah. You can easily make small batches very quickly. And actually, you'll notice with the 16 cm sauce pan, there's actually a pour spout on both sides. Oh, yeah. So the pour spout easily helps you pour uh, multiple Thank you, Hilaire. Okay. That's integrated in the pan, the pour spout. So now, you know, and for, for the sake of good health, make your vegetables healthy because for the love of vegetarians, you will be cooking that last dish. So, well, uh, here I have leftover lechong kawali, leftover lechong ano, uh, so all Nancy, the things that you need to repeat. Okay. So Nancy, you're using our stir fry spatula, so pretty cool. Huh? This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Okay. Nice, like salt and pepper milk. Yeah. But that's the salt side. Lots of salt coming out. With a little pepper. Rock salt. Thanks. Also available in all SM and Warden stores nationwide. Okay, now that I have my sauce, I'm going to put in my rice. Now, let me make a hole in okay. the middle so that it's evenly distributed nice. when you put it right. on the action. Still dry. Also, wear high heels <laughs> when you Actually, then you should be the one wearing it. I'm on tiptoes now. What's the verdict? What's the verdict? <laughs> the verdict is a song and dance number. <laughs> Alright, nice one. Questions for the floor about any of the three recipes that you have gone through today, or any general questions for Nancy before we end today's uh, cooking demo.